Hello, John here, and welcome to episode 14 of Tutorial 37, the Community Game Development Series. And in this episode, we are going to create a sprite. We're going to create the player sprite, and we're going to see if we can get this sprite moving around the screen. Now, uh, we will also be using our template that we have did in the last, epi last episode, last video, last episode. And we will extend it out to have the player sprite in there. Now, what is a sprite? Well, a sprite is basically something like this. It's like the image that we did before, but the sprite has a lot more functionality in it, in Pi Game anyway. Because you can collision detect, you can uh, um, move it around the screen in a variety of ways, you can apply transformations to it and stuff like that. So it's a lot more um, cleverer, and especially when it comes to uh, doing the game. Um, so we can use the sprite in a similar manner that we would use it on the Commodore 64. Uh, the only difference is is that Pi Game tells you whether two sprites have come together and 64, you have to work it out for yourself. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a bog standard sprite. Yeah, a yellow square. So let's go to the, um, the Pi. There it is. So we're going to create a new folder. And we're going to call this uh, da, 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 da. tut 37. Might as well. So we'll get our template. Copy the three. Come on. One more. That's it. There's our three. And what we're going to do is we're going to create another file and we'll call this player. Woo. So, like we did before, we have to import Pygame. And we'll do it the same as before. And we'll import the settings. And also, we need to uh, create a subsystem so it can handle all our XY coordinates. And that's called a vector. So we're going to call it, say, vector equals game dot math dot vector vector two. There we go. And what that does, that creates a subsystem to allow us to use two dimensional vectors. So we've got x and y. And this you'll see why we're going to use vectors when we come to moving around the screen because we can pass a vector around as one parameter rather than having to pass x, y, x, y, and x, y, and all that. So let's create the class, play it, and we are going to make it of, we're going to make it inherit something, which is going to be, we're going to make it inherit pygame.sprite.sprite. .sprite. So that is now created player as a Pygame sprite. And now we're just going to add more functionality to it to allow us to code. So first things we've got to do, we've got to do the init. So it's underscore, underscore, init, underscore, underscore, and then open bracket, self. And one day I will spell that right. So the first thing we need to do, we need to initialize the sprite. Sprite. 
Come on, you're supposed to spell. You're supposed to be IntelliSensing. And we, I'm going to initialize the base class, but we don't have to worry about this when we do the 64. And we're going to send in our cells as that particular class. Right, so now we've initialized the player as a sprite. We're now going <coughs> to... Excuse me. We're now going to um, specify what we want to do. So... <clears throat> We're going to give it an image, but the image is not going to be what you think. It's going to be a Pi game surface, and we're going to make it 30, 40 at the moment. And then we're going to fill that image with. Uh, yellow so we've now created a sprite that is an image and it's going to be yellow because what we're going to do is in the future we'll change the image to be an actual image now what we need to do is we need to set up its hitbox so to speak and that's called rec so and we have to tell it to go, look at myself, look at the image I have got, get rec. So it's going to look at the image that we've got and it's going to work out what the hitbox is. And then we're going to plonk it on the screen. So self.rec dot center equals settings dot screen width divided by two comma settings dot screen height divided by two so that should put it right smack in the center of the screen All right then so we'll create a, a variable for ourselves called position And we're going to make it a vector of exactly the same thing here. So we're just, because we've put the sprite in the middle of the screen, we're going to say this is where we are. Now, the hitbox and the sprite, as you can see, it's got a center. Now, on the hit, but on the the wreck or the hitbox, will um, has many points where you can specify where it's going to plonk it on the screen. So if I go back to my slides and show you this. So this is the sprite and this is the rec box or the hit box of it. Now typically when you set it, set a sprite, it sets this corner all the time, unless you specify otherwise. So we have specified we're going to, we want to put the X, Y coordinate here in the center. And so the sprite will be smack in the center. Now, if we set it to place it in the center of the screen using this one, the sprite would be slightly to the right and down. But because we've used this one, it's going to be right smack in the center. And then when what 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 you do after that is that you can set use that same point again. We could use this point or this point or this point or this point. The beauty of it is you can use any of these points to set where the sprite is. And that's what we're doing. We're just using the center at the moment. Right. So what do we, we've now initialized. So what do we need to do? Right, we need an update because we need to, uh, we need to update it, don't we? We need to t get the game program to update us. So we'll create an update function and so what we're going to do is we need um, we need a velocity don't we Sit. Veloc velocity Vec. 
not coming up. So it's st standing still. Right, okay. So the update is basically what we're going to. Uh, Yeah, we're going to put all the key functions in, aren't we? Right, so let's put the key functions in. So, uh, keys, if I remember correctly, equals pressed. So that gives us a list of keys that are being pressed. So if... Uh, key, ooh, keys, square brackets, I keep falling into that, you know, um, pg dot, and we'll use the keyboard pad, so that's going to be k underscore left, I think it is, yep, so if that's been pressed, then we want to set, uh, the velocity comma x to equal minus five so we'll need to do it the other way keys pg dot k right here we go and self dot velocity dot x equals five so now we've uh, affected we've we've checked our keys so we now need to uh, apply the velocity to our position so self dot position equals self dot velocity but it's not it's equal we're adding it the position is being added by the it, the velocity is being added to the position that's it and then we what we need to do now is we need to tell the um, hitbox where we are so self dot rec dot uh, center equals self dot position now I've just noticed I spelled that wrong that's the British way this is the American way so we're doing an update so this is uh, um, uh, testing keys updating position So that's our player sprite. Save. So what we need to do, we now need to go into the pro game and we need to sort out um, where we're putting it in the game. So here we are. So the thing is what we need to do is we need to put it in the new. So we're going to start the new game and what we need to do, we need to create a collection of sprites. So self dot all sprites equals pygame dot sprites dot group. And what this does is it that that all the sprites variable is where we're going to put all the sprites. So we're going to put all the sprites in a bucket, and then we'll be able to apply. Every, uh, instructions to all the sprites but at the moment it's all empty so we're going to create an, a sprite called player and that's equal to um, player oh we haven't imported player have we no all right better import it import player that's it is equal to player there we go dot player and so now we need to add all sprites dot add 
itself dot player. So that's adding the pl the player sprite that we've just created to that all sprites. So in the update now we need to tell it to update the sprites. So self dot all sprites dot update. So that tells all the sprites in that group to update, which runs then our update code. And then we need to tell the sprites to come on the screen. So first things first, self.screen.fill. And we'll fill it with black. I won't fill it with black if I don't have the settings in. It. So I set the screen to black and then we're going to plunk a self on the screen. And the way to do that is you do self dot all sprites dot draw and then you've got to tell it where you want to draw it, which is our self dot screen. And then you flip the uh, screen. Sounds too easy, that does. Okay, let's save this. Let's put auto save on because I'm fed up with saving it. There we go, done. So, if we run this now, we should... We should get a screen with a yellow block on it. Oh. It's underscore, isn't it? Right, let's try again. So back to main. Run. So there's our screen. Oh. Oh, here we go. Pi game, sprites. Main nine, game line 19. Is it sprites? I bet it's sprite and it's sprite. Yeah, it's got to be sprite. It's got to be sprite because we, um, yeah, okay. It's got to be sprite. Let's try again. Oh, what's it done now? Self dot image. Oh, in it player is not callable. Silly mistakes, silly mistakes. Well, still don't like it. What's it saying now? Player line 40. Oh no, it's not play, it's game line 40. Oh. 
Uh, put me a yellow block on the screen. Come on. He's still not liking it. file for a kickoff. There. Start debugging. So it says it doesn't like that. Takes zero takes zero positional arguments but one was given. Keep forgetting to do that. Yeah, they're they're done. Is that oh here we go. I keep forgetting to do that. Don't have to do that in modern languages. I'll get there in the end. Oh, silly. Start debugging. Get a yellow square on the screen. Come on. No. Oh Pi Game, have I put Pi Game in? Yep. game has no attribute keys. Good job I've got the pie, ga pie, pie game website open. <laughs> Dear me. Oh dear. Start. Come on, give me a yellow square. There we go. We have a yellow square. Can I move it backwards and forwards? Yes, I can. Alright, it goes off the screen now. Yeah, right, we'll have to do that. So we've got a square, go and. Oh, and it. Oh, I don't have to keep my finger on it. Okay. Right, let's stop that. Right, so player, let's uh, yeah, let's initialize it there. So we want to say self dot velocity equals vec naught comma naught. So well, that initialize. So if we let go of the uh, key, it will stop dead. And we want to we want to make sure that um, when it goes off the screen, we wrap it around, make it go round and round and round. So what we need to do, we need to test. So if self dot position x right is greater than the settings screen width. So if it's greater than that, then set self dot position x equals zero and on the flip side if self dot position x is less than zero then self dot position x equals settings dot screen not height, not height, not height. Width. So if it goes off the edge of the screen, we bring it back. And if it goes off the beginning of the screen, we send it to the edge. Right. 
Let's do that. Let's do that. Right. Go. Right, here we go. So, left, stop. Ooh, left, stop. Left, stop. Right, stop. Off the screen, comes back. Off the screen, comes back. <laughs> like it. Right, I don't like this instant stop. What we need to do is we need to give it a little bit of a momentum. So when you take your finger off, it carries on for a little bit longer. So we need to do the simple, simple, simple laws of momentum. So we have to go to the player and we have to um, give it an acceleration. Self dot x cell loration equals vector not or not. So then here, um, where's settings? I'm gonna have to put some player settings, I think. Right, so ax acceleration equals five. And we want, and we want to, when we let go of the key, we want the, the we want the, um, the 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 block to slow down. So we need to apply some friction. Friction equals the, what would be good friction. Minus means take away, so we're taking away m m speed, taking away speed. Right, that'll do. So go back into the player. So we've said acceleration. So that means that um, this needs to be acceleration. And then this needs to be acceleration because we want, we're affecting acceleration, not velocity because velocity is affected by acceleration. Oh, I've got caps lock on. Go on, uh, that's it. And we'll set these to um, settings dot, dot acceleration. And this would be minus settings dot acceleration mm, yeah that's right is it if we're pressing left we want to go backwards don't we no they're wrong way around so then we need to work out the velocity so first things first we need to apply our our friction so that means uh, self dot acceleration is equal to is equal to the velocity times by the friction So if we're if we're um, if we're oh, trying to, you, you're minus twelve percent off it. So if you're going a hundred, and then you times it by the friction, which is 0.12, which is twelve percent, that would make it would mean it drop down to eighty eight. So the velocity actually drops down to eighty eight. 88 of the velocity right so therefore then we need to apply simple equation of motion which is if you don't know it's velocity
add in acceleration and then our position is add in equal to self dot velocity plus 0.5 times by self dot acceleration if you don't believe me look it up <laughs> so this would then as soon as you take your finger off the key there'd be no acceleration applied to you but you'd be able to um, be able to move you'd still have even though you've taken the acceleration away your velocity is still there that's why we apply friction because then that take takes the velocity away from the friction um, uh, that depreciates the friction uh, not friction the velocity so acceleration increases your velocity but the friction slows you down so when you've not got your finger on the button friction is the one it's very similar to the physics when we was doing the gravity engine and stuff like that you know you apply thrust it, it made you go in the other way so this should do it i say should okay start debugging now we shouldn't really have broken it yeah so still got the yellow square so pressing the button now Oh, look at that, it doesn't stop dead look. <laughs> Excellent. It's a bit jerky, but that's because I'm on this damn screen sharing. It'd be smooth as silk if I was doing it on the TV. Right, so we have, we have our player sprite going backwards and forwards on the screen. We ain't got any more up and down he's going backwards and forwards so that's the start because hunchback really he's got backwards and forwards and jump isn't it so yeah <laughs> oh wicked 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 hmm I think we'll call it there hang on what time is it 35 minutes i'm doing really well to, i'm doing really well right okay so we'll call it uh, we'll call it there we've got our basic game we've got our player sprite that can go backwards and forwards on the screen or through the screen like that it doesn't stop dead he slows down when you let go <laughs> oh i've forgotten to put the keyboard thing on didn't i Oh, oh well. Hang on. Now nah, I'll do. I'll make sure it's there next time. All right then. Well, we're on our way. Net, um, Punchback has started. We have got our player sprite. So we need to uh, extend what this can do, and uh, we'll need to, we'll, we'll need to work out how we're going to make you know interact with walls and make it make this jump and and all that well that's all that good stuff but that's going to be coming in the future episode so if you've been following me see have a play around with acceleration and friction and stuff like that because some people don't like acceleration fine just turn put it set it to zero it'll stop dead i think it should stop dead so if i put acceleration to zero and run it it should be do back what we had before I think should do here we go oh acceleration is not I'm ah, it's because I'm applying this yeah I'm applying the acceleration on the controls not on there so how would we well you could make friction really really high 
like, like that. Let's try that. That should stop him dead. Oh, 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 he's struggling. <laughs> Friction is really hard. Uh, he's stopping dead. Maybe the friction is just too high. Okay, let's knock it down. Uh, no thanks. Right, let's knock it down. Let's make it uh, zero six two. So we've cut it in half. Come on. Oh, that's better. He stopped straight away. Okay, let's uh, knock it down even further. I think we don't need to be that. So that one, I think we need to be 3-6. Uh, I think it could be done about there. Right. Yeah, there you go, it's almost stops dead. It's better. But have a mess around. See if you can get him to jump or stuff like that because we'll be doing that in later videos and stuff. Um, have two characters. See if you can control two um, sprites with two different key, key sets. Right, I'll, I'll, we'll call it we'll call it there yeah we'll call it there and I ought to check all this stuff in Hannah it's all checked out let's check all this stuff in uh, da, 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 da. right so we want to yeah we're gonna stage all that that's all staged so this is episode 14 uh, episode 14 code changes boink there we go that's it it's all checked in now gonna say gonna lose it anyway if you like the video hit that like button if you didn't like the video fine hit the dislike button always leave me a comment and if you like what I do and you'd like to support the channel Consider becoming a patron of mine. All the money collected via Patreon is spent on this channel. And with that, I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. I'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.